today we're going to make this square. It has a number of overlay bits in it. You need four different colors of yarn. I have a thick wool and a crochet hook that goes with it. I have a double-ended one, but that's just because I like this one. It only needs one end. The first row is for these clusters of trebles. And I'm using the British word for that. It's double crochets uh, in American English. And then there's one treble in between them. I start by chaining five. I normally just twist and then chain. Two, three, four, five, and then I join them to create a ring, uh, a slip stitch. There. And then I'll make four trebles into the ring. And the first treble is replaced by chaining three. Three, and then just ordinary trebles with one yarn over and the hook into the ring. There's four. And then I make that sort of a cluster thing by first taking my hook off the stitch. I pull it a tiny bit so it doesn't start to unravel. And then I put the hook through the start of the set of four as well as through the stitch like this. And then yarn over and that through both and tighten. So it sort of stands out like that. And then in between these, there's a, another color, which I have a turquoise. One chain one first, and then take the other color, pull through here, chaining three to make the first treble. I normally use both strands for the first stitch, so it it's tighter and then pull that a bit and then chain two and the second one is pulled through the stitch at the end of the trebles and then you tighten the, the other yarn and now I continue then uh, a second set of four trebles first chain one and then four trebles. There's four and then again hook off the stitch and throw the first treble as well as the stitch yarn over and pull through both and tighten. And then again change color, chain one using the other color. Here you have to pull these quite often to make room. Uh, you see that I'm keeping these ends here inside the stitches so I won't need to weave them in separately at the end. And a treble here. Sort of goes a little bit behind that there. And again, two more times. So chain one and then two more groups of uh, trebles. 
here I have them done and uh, then I end the row by uh, a slip stitch to the start of it behind this here cluster there like this so that's the first row done uh, and these here ones that I had sort of put inside the stitching the ends I'll just cut them off right now because otherwise there'll be so many of them by the time we finish there and uh, looking at my finished one we've done these and uh, I can see now that the next time I need this same color is quite a while further up so I'll actually cut that as well and then we continue with the blue for another while the second row first uh, chain one and then what you need to do is two double crochets in the British sense and uh, single crochets in American into each of these little holes that you have in between all these trebles so first one making it slowly so you see which stitch I'm making depending on which terms you are used to using there's two and then chain two and then make it the next hole and uh, two double crochets again and again chain two and keep going the whole row like this two double crochets into each sort of a place where you can get in there and then one two chain stitches and again and so on here almost done that row and then check that you have eight of these uh, two chain stitches eight tiny loops of them and this is the last one here and then I attach it to the start of the row so uh, that was our second row finished and then looking at the finished square then we need these here loops that are attached later so on this row we only make those loops each of the loops is six chain stitches long one two three four five six and you attach it to the next little loop there with a um, slip stitch like that and again one two three four five six and to the next one and a slip stitch and so on until the end so you'll have eight and you'll finish off by a slip stitch at the end so that's row three finished and make sure you have eight loops and again here I'll cut the yarn after cutting I pull it through there